Okay, so these are the uh, stabilizer ribs. That's very easy. Those uh, plywood was sticking out. Crush cutting bit. There was a piece of cake. Then uh, a bit of sanding with a sanding stick. 80 grit just to cut the corner with those fuzz there. And then uh, a small part on the entire surface. Make sure they're flat. And yeah, I guess that's right. I need to screw these guys up. Make them flat for their connection to the uh, the main spar. Yes, to be done. And uh, I got these. These are the diagonals for uh, for these guys. And, and uh, so uh, what I've made is uh, a piece of putting like a stick here. I put like a, an entire band, <coughs> and it should be cut like around here somewhere. So I'll be cutting through. Uh, through wood and then the, they'll also give me more meat to glue on the uh, the spars. Oh yeah I forgot so of course there's a, I made a, a very small sanding on this surface uh, 80 grit just to remove the blobs there was not much because right after doing it I, uh, I removed the excess but just a small pass to make sure everything is flat uh, and also I uh, flush cut those before putting the second because then your or else your bearing doesn't fit so make sure you do one you flush cut it then put the other side I'll be doing I'll be doing that now so this is what the laminations look like after uh, they're out of the jig of course it's uh, it's so damn strong it's incredible um, I guess I just need to clean all the blobs everywhere. Make sure I don't eat through the wood at all. Just eat, uh, just go with the, uh, just leave the glue. Probably something learned is that maybe I should have. No, uh, oh, I'll just clean it and then go on the the joiner like I did the other one, just to clean the excess glue and then uh, trim to size. I guess I forgot also that on the original. I had lines on where the curvature started and where it it should end. So uh, make sure you you mark those before removing your your lamination, because of course these will have to be because uh, it's it's a bit. I mean, you could you could easily be off. So it's nicer if you can just transfer. So now I put this line on the epoxy. Of course, I'll be I need to transfer it. Here and there, every time I surface it, I'm going to transfer it back on another surface to make sure I never lose it. Yeah, small talk about this also. After uh, using uh, what uh, Mr. Bobka has suggested, the angle finder, that's a magnet for the on the on the on the table saw and the and the the, the well on the saws any saws. I found this guy, which I thought was really good, and it seems to work really well. So just a digital uh, angle finder. So now we're using that to find this 30 degree angle and this 42.5 angle. And the plan hopefully will be to either check a measurement with this and then directly transfer this number on a table saw. And then hopefully the cut will just be perfect, period. Perfect, easy, sounds good, right? Perfect, sounds good. All right, this is the uh, the full size drawing of the stab and elevator. Uh, said for S, so I happen, just happen to have like a flat, which is basically like uh, strips of three quarter inch ply with some uh, press wood on top of it. So I I straightened it by putting it on something else I bought from IKEA, which is a very straight table. So uh, that table put upside down this one, which was extremely straight. Then I glued another piece of leftover Luan. So now this table is extremely straight and confirmed with our, our eight foot long straight edge. And um, so then we started by doing one straight edge which was the uh, going to be the yeah these two lines here the so two main the two spar of the elevator elevator and 
of the stabilizer. So one on each on each side. So that's our zero line, and we're going to build up to this to where the curve and the trailing edge is. The other side of the table will receive uh, the stabilizer. We have drawn on it where the spar ends, where every rib goes. The X is where we need to cover with the rib. So that will become uh, hidden. So we need to just hide the X's at all time. This line will also be our reference line for putting down these blocks, which will staple to the table, and then they'll be used as blocks to, s to hold each rib or for whatever, whatever member needs it, including the main, all the main spars. <coughs> Excuse me. And then these are, yeah, so we have here the false nose ribs, the full nose ribs. Those will be balsa in our case. Pat is again helping in this, which is very, very cool. And this is just drafting for fun. Yes, drafting <laughs> for fun. Scribbling while on the telephone. 